The time has come and so have I. Wait, welcome back to another Very Geek Reaction. Today we're going to be looking at the Devil May Cry 5 trailer for V. Now, I reacted to the main trailer that came out a week ago and we had I had we had some great discussion on in the comments about who V is. So if you haven't seen that video, make sure you guys check it out. It just cracked a thousand views, so I appreciate you guys for that. Make sure you guys leave a like, comment, subscribe, man. Let's just get to it. He reminds me of like Genesis from Final Fantasy 7 uh, Crisis Core. Dude, his fight style is so unique. He's like a necromancer, sorcerer, whatever. Two days old. Just kidding. You can call me V. Okay. Nerd. Did you find it? Oh uh, well, I, I don't know what I found, but uh, I think I saw some demons dancing. Well, then I guess we keep going. The devil sword spider is nearby. Ooh, that's so brutal. Dude, he's so cool. If only you never existed. Then I told you it's been no no no! Okay. His fighting style is very fucking cool. Again, I just have it playing on the side over here uh, over and over, but now We've discussed who V could be. Uh, I think it's too, like, we... It's too obvious that it's, you know, Virgil or, like, an offspring of Virgil. A lot of, in a lot of stories, when something is too obvious, they usually just kind of, like, say, like, oh, it's completely someone else that you don't really know. And this kind of shows, I think, more of that, where, it, I mean, he doesn't... Like, he obviously knows them, like, Dante and them. Mainly him, but... I don't know, we can see, we there was some, dis, you know, some theories that we discussed about m maybe him being an offspring of Mundus, or an agent of Mundus, or Mundus, whatever, however you say it. Now, the shot at the end with him betraying Dante, that's definitely not going to happen, especially because it was a... Uh, it was part of Sword as well, so I don't, I definitely don't think that he stabs Dante in the head with it. It's just like another red herring. This whole V is just one giant red herring of who he is and what he's what his agenda is. Now he says something about being two days old. I don't know if that was just part of a rhyme or like a poem that he was re like stating or you know whatever but it is interesting to know if he is actually just a couple days like made or born. So he does again he keeps the white hair like motif from the last trailer and again just seeing there's not much to say because it was just kind of like his own theme song was really cool uh he's a nerd kind of like he's so like over the top and like whenever he throws his like uh spirit pets pretty much or whatever it looks really cool i can't wait to try him you know this like fight cell so unique like he was shanking that that one dude like crazy and like the gut and, I don't know, I'm just excited. Like I said in the last one, just pop it in my veins. I just need it now. Uh, there's not much to say. I mean, we already know Nero, we know Dante, now we know some more about V, kind of not really. Like I mentioned too, oops. Like I mentioned too before, how he reminds me of Genesis, if you played Crisis Core. How he was very, uh, I forget the, the play he kept uh, re- you know, reusing and I like, kept stating to to Zach, but he throughout the whole story of that game he kept using it. Uh, Loveless, I believe. So it kind of reminds me of that type of character of like being edgy, but like relying on poems and stuff to kind of like expand on his character. So it's interesting. Let's see what happens. I again, he definitely won't betray Dante. That's just not how this like these games roll or just story goes in general. It's all a red herring. 
is he related to Virgil? We don't know. Is he related to Mundus? Who do, like you know? Who knows? We just have to wait and see, because obviously Virgil did take uh, the Devil Bringer in the other trailer. He is by far the one that took that arm. So he, V is not Virgil. He's just someone, honestly. And honestly, it might be <clears throat> even if you don't like the Last Jedi, it might be the Last Jedi kind of thing where. Everyone's expecting a huge deep backstory to Rey and who, who her parents are. Is Luke her father? And like, when she found out, it was kind of like, just nobody's kind of. It was kind of funny but ironic that you look so hard to look for something, but ultimately there's nothing. So we might be looking too much into V, and then he might just be nothing. So we know, you know, who knows? But. I don't know, trailer was awesome as always, Devil May Cry just never fails to like impress me, especially with like newer characters, I didn't think I would like a lot of this character, especially because we barely knew anything of him and we still don't know much about him, so I don't know, what did you guys think, if you want to have any more theories, make sure you leave a like and comment down below, subscribe if you're new here, and all my social media links will be down below as well, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, and before you guys go, I know I'm taking up a lot of your time, but I just want to say thank you to those who are supporting me and continuously subscribing and I really do appreciate you guys and make sure you guys share and you know help me out and I keep bringing daily content because I do upload every day either one or two videos so this video is going up as soon as I finish editing it so look out for another video tomorrow so alright guys peace